So these beans have been fermenting for about four days and you got to keep them warm. It's a dry fermentation and they're in a cooler with drainage at the bottom. There's a drain because this is a dry fermentation, not a wet fermentation. So you got to keep on draining the liquid that collects at the bottom. And this is just a simple cooler that we use to trap the heat in and we use a hot water bottle to heat it up and you want to get it to 120 degrees if possible for at least five or six days. This is a wet grinder or melanger and this is the chocolate that's about to be poured. You keep it above 95 degrees and right before we're about to temper the chocolate and we're going to add a bit of cacao butter to it to seed it when it's at 95 and you mix it up real good and then you want to drop it down to about 92 degrees you know, mixing it mixing the cacao butter in and then you pour it here we are with the molds these are different molds uh, there's a hodgepodge of them we need to streamline our molds and there's some sea salt and magnets we're going to add into the chocolate now he's added shredded cacao butter to start the tempering process and we're having this machine run a little bit because there's still some chocolate in there so he's going to stir this up real good and drop the temperature and we're going to pour so he has added one ounce of shredded cacao butter to start the tempering process and we're mixing it in a bowl you want to drop it down to 92 91 or so before it's ready to pour and the temperature is dropping yeah it's almost at 91 make sure you always stir and check different spots because different areas will be a different temperature so you have to make sure uh, to know what the average temperature of the batch is in the bowl and you want to get a, a good reading so he's going to stir this for a couple minutes and wait until it drops down to 91 or 92 and then pour and also you can just do it by uh, feel or sight, you get a, uh, a chocolatier third eye kind of going. Uh, Is my scraper nearby? Uh, it should be. It's in, the, it's in the basket over there. It's flowing real nice. A good flow. I'm going to try a little experiment. I'm going to do roasted chilies and roasted mac nuts right here and some salt in a little bar private uh, stash for the chocolatiers. These are Tabasco chilies, the Hawaiian peppers and uh, it looks roasted. You can hear it in there. We're about to pour another batch. Tempering is a trick. I'm just, I want to get a shot of this, uh, pouring this magnet, uh, I don't know what that sound is. What is that? Probably the sun eating up the roof. Oh yeah, that's right, the sun's out. It's heating up the tin roof. Okay, so now we have, uh, the chili and magnet. And Gary's about to pour chocolate into this uh, fancy dancy mold it's this mold from I think Sweden it's very expensive 
I mean, these are like you know, a couple hundred dollars, these fancy molds. Right. And, uh, you know, we, we only have the best around here. I'm joking, Gary, I'm joking. <laughs> the Tupperware things that you can buy at Walmart. No, they're German. Anything they're German that. engineered chocolate molds. Well, I'll bet you they, have, they make you like 50, 60 bucks for one of them things, like those big ones we got. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go with the German engineered. Uh, they're called Uber Tupperware <laughs> chocolate mold. Yes. Beautiful, gorgeous. Get all the air bubbles out of it. Looking good. So here we go with the chocolate bars out of the mold. Here's one of the molds. And we put them in the refrigerator for 10 minutes or so, and they come out perfect temper. Awesome. Yes, and so now time to wrap them up. So we got a vanilla orchid right here, and you can see there's a bean right behind it. And we're gonna pollinate this one to show you how it's done. down and it should stick and there you go and then that's what it'll turn into when it's ready um, I mean what is this probably a couple weeks maybe a couple months off before you can harvest this bean and there's vanilla bean growing on a magnet tree we're on magnet farm <laughs> <laughs>